Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create your own cards using Canva. And I'm also gonna share with you the company that you can use to print the actual cards so that you can sell them either on your own website or you can sell them through Amazon. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to jump onto uh, your Canva. If you have not uh, signed up for Canva yet, I highly recommend it. If you're a creator, there's nothing better, easier for me to use right now to create the things that I want to create than Canva. So if you haven't done that yet, I highly encourage you to do it. Another thing I must mention, I believe that in order to customize your dimensions, you have to have the paid version, which is only $12.95 a month. I think it's a great deal. So with that said, let me show you how to get started. So we're going to go to create a design and then you are going to customize the size and you're going to go, you know, depending on the size that you want. I want it mine to be three by five. So that's what I'm going to do. So there's my card, right? This is what I'm going, the size that I want my card to look like. Now, you can use as you probably already know, if you've created anything, if you're a writer and you've tried to, you know, do book covers before, or if you try to do pictures, you have to make sure that the pictures that you use are copyright uh, free or that you are paying for the license of it. If you use photos in Canva, you can um, they are part of the license deal that you get. So you do, you are able to use it for resale, but you have to make sure you check that before you even, you know, go forward with selling. You are actually going to just create your own design using simple colors. So let's say you want this to be yellow, right? You're going to do, go to text, pick your, your text that you want to say here. Let's say you're a writer and you want to create cards for writers, right? Or whatever it is, whatever your genre is, you want to create something that is just has words. So how about something inspiring, like keep, oops, <laughs> keep going. You've got this, right? Let's say you want to just do something like that. You can change the font to be whatever you want it to be, right? You can do something like this and ch and that's your heading. Then let's say you want to add a little bit of, you know, like I added clouds to mine. Let's see, let's do if there's a smudge that you can add maybe, I don't know. Let's see, you want yours to be like this in the background. You want it to have like that, but let's make it really light and let's push it to the back. You can even change the color of it if you want it to be like that color or you want it to be, you know, more black or blue, whatever color you want it to be. Let's just leave it like that. This is not, I'm not showing you how to design it. You can, everybody's got their own vision for design. So this is not about you know, the, the design aspect of how to create a card. It's more about how to do it, right? So we're going to do this. And as you can see, see the lines, these pink and purple lines, whatever they are, they t they're they showing you how you can be, if you're off center or not. So let's say that's your card, right? That's the front of the card. Now let's say you want to create what the back of the card looks like. Like for example, you see how mine says I am and then the next card says beautiful. So we're going to create what your cards are going to be called. So let's go back over here. We added a page. No, let's go ahead and add a page. It's got the same color. And let's say you want the backs of your cards to be pink or this pink whatever you guys get the picture and let's say you want to call this oracles for writers I don't know you guys you guys get the point it's not this isn't about that right now it's just about teaching you how to create this and then you're going to center it and then you're going to pick your font um, whatever you know it doesn't matter the font right now because <laughs> We all know that this isn't typewriter. Let's see. Um, ma, 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 ma. Okay, let's use this one just because we're doing it for writers at this point. And then let's make this as big as we want it. Let's see what 100 looks like. That's too much. Let's see what 50 looks like. 
Okay, that might be too big, but either way, you guys get the gist. So here we go, we're gonna do that. We're going to make sure it's centered. Kakuma doesn't look centered. It looks off. And then we're going to go here. And what I recommend, there we go, there. What I recommend is that you get this you know, whatever design you're going to go with, let's say you're going to go with this, all your cards are going to look the same, except for this is going to change. I recommend that you get it. You get this card perfect before you start duplicating it, right? Because you can now duplicate it and change this, you know, today is the day. And then you can change the background to whatever color you want. You know, you can go here and change it. Let's see, that's ugly. <laughs> and then you can go here and change it to whatever, you know, color you want. Let's see. Yeah, like that. But now everything stays the same. You just have to, you know, line it up, obviously. And But if you want the background to be different in each card, you can still do that. You can just delete the background, go back to elements, look at your smudge maybe you want it to have this one now maybe you want to change the color again um, maybe you want it to be white maybe you want it to be really light and you're always going let's size it and you know push it to size like that and then you're going to push it to the back and now the words are in the front right and then the same thing with this one. Make sure you've got this perfect. Make sure you've got this perfect before you start duplicating it, right? Because then if you don't do that, if you have this one, if you're not comfortable with this and now you start duplicating and duplicating, now you're going to have to fix each one or delete and start over. So we are always going to make sure that your one design, the one that you're going to duplicate is perfect the way it is. That way you don't have to keep changing it every single one unless you're going to do something like this and change every single one and then you know obviously there's nothing you can do about it. oh did i delete that let's undo because that's our cover right let's say you want something special for the cover let's pretend you want something like this and i don't like that i don't like that actually <laughs> let's see do, do, do. what about I can't figure it out. <laughs> Let's say you want something like this. I don't know. Maybe. For the background. And remember, this is not about design. This is about you creating a card that you can you know sell but you're going to be the one who designs it the way you want to so now let's pretend you have all 52 cards and you know what let's go ahead and move this to the top that way your front cover or actually your back cover which is this this is the back of each of my cards so that right here this is basically this right so oops not that <laughs> so now that you have this and you have your first card and you have your next card in order to print it to the company that i'm going to show you you're going to have to print the back and the front of your card the back and the front so we're going to go ahead and go here and we're going to copy this page and we're going to move it down so now you can see back front back front and that's the way mine is as you can see here i have the back i have the front the back of the front and i'm going to show you something else now so let's pretend we are all done these are our perfect you know um designs for our pictures we're going to go here and we're going to pick print high quality and it's going to be uh, pdf and you see how you see the crop marks here you're going to select that because that's going to show the company, you know, where to cut it. And as you can see, it's perfect. It doesn't cut my design in any way. Everything is nice and centered. And that's exactly the way you want yours to look. So let's go ahead and print that and let's see what it looks like. 
and that's what it looks like. As you can see, your design, it's perfect, it's centered, and it doesn't cut into, ooh, <laughs> today is, today's is the day. I just realized I did that wrong. Sorry, you know, I'm trying to focus on, uh, <laughs> on how to create the cards I wasn't even paying attention so basically this is the way you set your document ready for printing so then the next thing i'm going to show you is the company that you're going to go to for this i discovered this company because i kept searching for a company that was simple that would do this for me that was high quality the company that i'm using is verante they're quality of work is so good i am really content and happy with the way they came out all you would have to do is create an account here and then you would go ahead and upload your files you they were going to give you once you upload your files they're going to give you a quote on how much it's going to be for you to print your uh, cards and it actually is not that much. I'm happy with it based on the quality of work. So, all right, you guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys again in a brand new video next week. Until then, stay safe.